In this video, let's learn how to group tests with Jest. If you prefer your test to be organized into groups, you can use the global describe method that Jest provides. Let's understand its syntax and usage. Describe accepts two arguments. The first argument is the group name and the second argument is a function that contains the test to be executed. Let's head back to our editor and write the code. In greet.test.tsx, we have two tests. When we run yarn test in the terminal, we see pass followed by the file name, the two test names, and below that we see numbers. Test suites, we have one in total and one has passed. Tests, we have two in total and two have passed. Keep in mind, Jest is currently tracking the changed files only. What we can do now is wrap the two tests with a describe block. Describe, let's call this greet. And the second argument is a function which will contain the tests. Let's move both the tests inside the function body. If we now save the file, we can see the group name in the terminal, greet. Under greet, we see two test names. Let's change the test names to help read the logs better. I will remove greet from the test names and save the file. The terminal now reads, greet renders correctly, greet renders a name. As you can see, we are able to group together multiple tests. There are also a few additional points to make note of about the describe method. First, it is possible to use dot only and dot skip with a describe block as well. The behavior remains the same as test dot only and test dot skip, which we had a look at in the previous video. Second, it is possible to nest describe blocks. For example, I can add another describe block that wraps just the second test. Let's call it nested. The second argument is a function that contains our test. If we now save the file, we see the hierarchy in the terminal. Greet and then nested. Of course, you would want a more logical grouping than what I have demonstrated here. Finally, you can also add multiple describe blocks in the same file. I can cut the nested block and paste it outside. Save the file and we now see two groups in the terminal. It is quite common to use the describe method when writing tests. I want to point out one confusion that you may have when dealing with describe blocks and the terminal output. In the output, we see test suites as one. According to the folks behind Jest, a test suite corresponds to a file and not an individual describe block. Although you group tests together using describe, it does not correspond to a test suite. When going through the documentation, that might slightly confuse you, so I thought of bringing it up in this video. One file is one test suite. So that is about grouping tests with Jest. To summarize, you can use the global describe method that Jest provides to group tests together. There can be multiple describe blocks in each test file and they can be nested to create hierarchy. You can also use dot only and dot skip with describe to filter a group of tests to be run or skipped. All right, in the next video, let's take a look at the file name conventions that create React App follows.